So did you know that most, if not all, red light therapy panels are made in China? And did you know that you can actually bypass the middleman and go straight to the source, straight to the factory? And in turn, you're gonna get a red light therapy panel for a really great price. But should you? Or is it better off spending a few more dollars and buying from a local company? Well, at the end of this video, I'm gonna share 11 things that you should consider before buying direct from the Chinese factory. And I'm also gonna share some experiences both from myself and others who have purchased from Chinese companies. And these experiences may surprise you. So first up, why are the panels direct from Alibaba or AliExpress so much cheaper than the big name panels you see littered all through Facebook ads? And are these big companies simply ripping us off? Well, of course, like many things in life, if you cut out the middleman, you're gonna save money. However, there's a downside to cutting out the middleman. Middlemen, whether it's a supermarket, consolidating food products in one central location, bike shop selling bikes from all different brands, or a red light therapy company, they often add a lot of value. Value across many metrics, customer support, dealing in local currencies protected by local laws, and of course, convenience. You literally go to one place, it has a lot of options, everything's done for you. And it's the same for a company selling a red light therapy product. They're adding on things, they're adding value, or at least they should be, the good companies are. And these value adds obviously come at a price. It's why if you fly with a premium airline, say Emirates, compared to a budget airline such as Scoo, both options are going to get you from A to B. However, one of them is going to provide nicer food, friendlier staff, cleaner toilets, more value. But of course, it comes at a higher price. Now, of course, if you're buying direct from the factory that specializes in sourcing LEDs and training staff to assemble these products and package them all up, that's their core competency. If you're buying direct from them, yeah, you're gonna get really good prices, but you're gonna miss out on a lot of those value adds. A lot of the conveniences, a lot of the niceties, a lot of the customer protections, and a lot of other things that I'm gonna get into soon. But I may actually do another video on this topic in the future, because often people say to me, hey, the markups must be huge, they're ripping us off. I can tell you now, as someone who has experience in not only red light therapy, but also businesses, yeah, the margins aren't that great, and the competition is pretty cutthroat. So, enough about that. If you are gonna order direct from China, here's what you should look for. First up, Consider how long the factory or the company selling on behalf of the factory. Typically, you'll still be buying direct through the factory, but they'll have like a little sales arm, sales office with one or two people in, in there. Obviously, these people are sales reps. They're not getting their hands dirty and using the screwdriver. But at the end of the day, they're still employees of the factory. So first up, it's important to look at how long they have been operating. The cool thing is if you're buying through a platform such as Alibaba or AliExpress, Often you can see a lot about the company, their history, their website, their location, even photos from the factory. So check that out because it is very easy to set up a scam company these days or a scam website. So you don't want to fall into that trap. Next up, check out their reviews. Again, platforms like Alibaba and AliExpress often have a reviews function with independent reviews in there. Another thing you can do is head over to the Light Therapy Insiders Facebook group. This is a group that I manage and do a search in there for the company that you're looking at buying from. In that group, a lot of people have shared their experiences, both good and bad, from buying from various companies. So do some research. Next, check what their warranty period is and also what happens if you do get a dud. A lot of the, let's say, Western companies, the big name companies, have really great warranty periods, three years, even five year warranty periods. And these companies have been around for a long time, so you know they're legit. I've found though, a lot of the Chinese companies, or when you buy direct from a factory, they often only have, say, 12 month warranties. And there's always that uncertainty of, will they actually care if the panel arrives and it's not working or it's broken or something's happened when it was freighted there? Will they actually honor that? I mean, you're a long way away from the company. You could be dealing with someone who's not that fluent in English. Are they really going to care? And if they do, what's going to happen? Do you have to send that panel all the way back to China? That could cost a lot of money. So just look into these things. Ask these questions because you are buying an expensive and heavy electronic item. Another thing to check before buying direct from China is the shipping price. Yeah, they may have some really low product prices, but how much is it going to cost to get it shipped to your door? If you've seen the review I did of my experience from buying direct from China, you'll see that the shipping price was over 50% of the product price. So just be careful. You may be surprised when you get those shipping quotes back. Also ask them, will that price include customs or import duties? You see here in New Zealand, we have a 15% GST tax. 
plus there's extra import duties. So let's say I'm spending $1,000 on a panel, I'm gonna be hit with a $150 bill, plus there's processing fees, plus there's some other fees, and next thing you know, I'm spending $250 extra, 25% extra on top of the original price. So just ask about this and be prepared for it. And following up on this, another thing to ask is shipping time. Are they gonna send it by boat or yeah? If it's by boat, it may take 30 days to get here. So again, you may be saving some money, but if you're in a hurry for the panel, maybe look elsewhere. Also ask the company if it's gonna work in your local circuits, your local wiring, if it's gonna have the right voltages, for instance, and also whether it comes with a cable that you can use in your sockets because if it doesn't there's another five or ten dollars you need to spend to get an adapter plus it's a little bit ugly you know another thing to think about and be sure to ask whether the panel will come with a manual because the factory typically isn't creating the manual this is what the big red light therapy companies are doing it's their value add they're literally putting together the document doing the branding putting their photos in doing the dosing recommendations testing all the data putting the data points in there and adding that to the box. It's again, one of their value adds. So if you're new to red light therapy, by the way, head over to lighttherapyinsiders.com and check out our start here guide if you are new. But if you're new, you may want a manual. You probably want a detailed manual, how to use the panel, what the difference is between the wavelengths, dosing, all that sort of stuff. Or if you're buying this for a loved one or a family member, again, it's nice having a manual when you open the box. So just check to see if it's included, check to see how detailed it's gonna be, and also check that it comes in English. Next, you need to ask them about the tech specs. What wavelengths are gonna be emitted? Are the LEDs dual chip, single chip, quadruple chip, and how much power are these lights putting up? Then find out how credible these numbers are. Have they tested the data or have they sent it off to a lab, which is excellent. If they've done the testing, how did they test it? Did they use a solar meter? Pretty average. Did they use a spectrometer? Great. Or did they use a full light sphere testing device, which costs about $50,000? You need to know for sure what you're getting because you can get a variety of panels. Some are junk, some are really, really good. Some do what they're meant to, some don't. If you've seen some of my reviews here or watch my buyer's guide, I point out a lot of the key things to look for when buying a red light therapy panel. So maybe check that out after you've watched this. And then finally ask them how you can pay. I have seen some companies that require checks or bank transfers and it gets a bit complicated and inconvenient. Others typically offer PayPal or credit card, or you can pay through the Alibaba payment platform. And on that note, if you are buying from a Chinese company, I do recommend using PayPal or the Alibaba payment platform, or at least a really good credit card, just in case the transaction falls through, and then you can go back to your card provider and get them to help get the money back. Now, I've been talking a lot about Alibaba and AliExpress, but everything I've covered also applies to Amazon and eBay. So let me just quickly run through the key differences between these platforms. Firstly, Alibaba is more of a industrial wholesale platform. If you were a fitness center wanting to buy 50 red light therapy panels, for instance, you could go off to Alibaba, find the factory, you could get the factory to put your logo on it, custom brand it, and you'd get a really good deal. They'd probably have a minimum order, they'd have some financing terms, all that sort of wholesale industrial business stuff. If you're just looking for one panel for home use, you may find it difficult buying through Alibaba because they may ask for your company details and they may say, hey, look, we've got a minimum order of 10. This often comes up as MOQ, minimum order quantity, and yeah, a lot of companies set higher numbers, though sometimes some companies will happily sell you one or they'll send you one sample one. But you may have to say that you're looking at starting up a business or you know doing some research to get around these rules. Typically though, if you're happy to put the work in, you may get a better price. On the other hand, AliExpress is more of a consumer platform. This is where you can go in and buy one unit without questions being asked. You may see higher prices though, and you may not be able to customize the product. You may not be able to say what wavelengths you wanna get. You may just have to buy what they're selling, so to speak. When it comes to eBay, again, typically this is more of an AliExpress consumer sort of platform. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of protection mechanisms in place there since it is an American company. Amazon, again, a lot of consumer individual products are being sold in there. Uh, and what you'll find is there are some brands who sort of specialize in eBay or specialize in Amazon. I often get asked, hey, Alex, what do you think of this brand on Amazon? And there are so many brands out there as I've sort of alluded to, it's quite easy to get a panel, put your own branding on it and sell it. 
Uh, so a lot of people, a lot of companies are doing this. So uh, again, though, at least Amazon, there are protection mechanisms in there that may make it more comfortable for you to use uh, compared to Alibaba or AliExpress. Chances are though, if you're buying through these other platforms, you're still effectively buying direct from the factory because a Chinese company has just set up an account on the platform and is using it as a marketplace. Now, actually on that note, I do need to mention there are some companies out there that are marketed and packaged up as a legit red light therapy company that are still effectively just a polished sales office from the Chinese company. One example here is Cyanlotic. I actually reviewed their panel and used it in my 2024 comparison series where I looked at that panel and 16 others to try and determine which one was the best. Now, the interesting thing here with the Cyanlotic panel is yeah, you're still getting a really good price point, but you're also getting some of those value adds that the Western bigger companies are offering. So it's kind of like this middle ground that except PayPal and your usual credit cards. They have a really nice polished website. The panel and the packaging are all branded. In fact, the sign lot at packaging was really, really nice. I was quite impressed when I did my review. They even accept discount codes. So it's gonna feel like you're dealing with a regular American company. It's just that it's the Chinese company. So if you are wanting that low price with some value adds, you could check that out. Though on that note, I do need to say that some companies, the typical Western red light therapy companies, some of them are offering really, really good prices. Why? Because they're selling so many panels, they can order in mass volumes they're getting better prices than you and I could get if we were ordering one panel or maybe five for our mates. In turn, they pass the lower prices on to the consumer. Sure, they add their profit margins and the other costs associated with selling and up valuing the product, but still it comes at a really good price point. And I have done videos like the best panel under $1,000. If you watch my comparison series again, you can go to round seven, see how all the panels set from a scoring point of view. And you may be surprised that, hey, look, for a couple hundred dollars more, I can get a panel from a local company and it comes with all the bells and whistles and all the nice packaging. Maybe I'm better off just doing that. So keep that in mind. Okay, now another question I often get is, hey, is this particular panel from this Chinese company the same as a big name company's panel? And with over five or six years in this space, here's what I can tell you. Yes, you may be able to find the factory that supplies one of these big Western companies, but you may not. And yes, you may be able to find the exact panel that some of these Western companies are reselling. However, the really big companies, I know a lot of those companies have signed agreements with the factories in China where they get special features or they get certain products protected exclusive just for that company. So again, you may be able to find the factory making the panel, but I don't know if you'll get the exact same panel. I mean, you just need to look at Platinum LED Biomax. A couple of years ago, they came out with a Biomax panel that had the touchscreen. No other panel on the market had a touchscreen. And for the life of me, I couldn't find a company on Alibaba or AliExpress that would supply me a panel with the touchscreen. Fast forward a few years, and of course that has changed now. But it's my understanding that a lot of these big companies who are doing massive orders, you know, they're ordering by the container load. They're going in, sometimes physically, they're going over to China and they're designing unique features, unique technologies, unique panel designs, and they're saying, right, we're gonna order this many, but that means you can't share those features or sell those features to anyone else. Okay, so what about my experience buying direct from China? Well, I don't need to go into it in this video because I have done a dedicated video. It is my Alibaba panel review. I'll give you a quick takeaway though. It was a bit of a headache just actually ordering it. The back and forth for, for on the customer service front was, frustrating, the payment was frustrating, the account setup was frustrating. But when it did arrive, I was pleasantly surprised. I haven't used it too much. I did include it in my comparison series. Uh, and overall, it is a good panel, though very basic. Still though, I got there in the end. Would I do it again? I think I'd rather just spend a bit more money and buy from a local company instead. But I would say if you're gonna order 100 times from a company, you're probably gonna get more issues or have more hassles, more headaches, buying direct from China than you would say from an American company. Don't leave that persuade what you should do, but just keep that in mind. And by the way, if you have ordered direct from China, please leave your experiences down below. I would love to hear them and I'm sure everyone viewing this is gonna find a lot of value in, in it as well. And also, if you are enjoying this video and find it useful, can you go down, hit the like and subscribe button? I really do appreciate it. Okay, so what are some Chinese companies that people have had good experiences with? Well, firstly, I mentioned Cyanlotic before, so you can check them out. As for the factory Alibaba companies, 
check out red dot or escrow or i do lighting those are three that seem to get good feedback so what should you do well really it boils down to price how much you can spend convenience what your convenience tolerance is and risk what your risk tolerance is think of it this way you can have two of these three things but you can't have all three think of it this way if you want to buy something that's super convenient you know local currencies local customer care fast shipping all that good stuff with very little risk i.e it turns up damaged you're not going to have any issues getting it replaced you're protected by local customer laws and all that sort of thing then chances are it's going to come at a higher price point because you're dealing with a local company now if you want something that's super low cost you're on a strict budget then chances are you're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer for shipping times and you may have some headaches getting it and of course there's always that risk that you buy a lemon so it's just weighing up what you value the most really i guess it comes down to budget i guess that's why most people are considering going straight to china because you can get a panel you can get a good amount of therapeutic red light at a really low price point so if you are going to do that here are 11 things you should think about real quick just go through and do a pros cons list uh, before you make that purchase number one is the shipping time if you buy from china expect to wait one to four weeks or even longer especially if it's held up at the border contrast that to a local company if they're shipping from a local warehouse and a lot of these companies do have warehouses scattered all around the world you're gonna get it in days and there won't be any holdups when it comes in through the country. Second is taxes, import duties. Again, if you're buying from a local company, legally they have to include your local taxes and you're not gonna have the border issues. That is very different if you're buying from a Chinese company. Customer service, do you value working with a local who speaks your language and is in the same time zone? Or are you happy dealing via email for instance and waiting a bit longer for responses and and understanding that there may be some typos in the email number four is the payment currency if you want to pay in euros then buy from a european red light therapy company there are some out there i've done a video on this same for australian companies new zealand companies american canadian if you want to spend local currency buy local if you don't mind paying in us dollars then yeah consider a chinese company as well number five is local customer laws and protection I know here in New Zealand, there's really good consumer laws. So if you get a product that is faulty, the company has to fix it up, sort out a replacement, all of that. So personally, I like buying from New Zealand companies. Whereas if I buy from China, I'm not protected from the same laws. Number six is credibility. I've reviewed a lot of panels over the years. Uh, you can check out the comments in those videos. You can go into my Facebook group and you'll be able to see, okay, wow, this company is legit. They've been around for eight years and they've sold thousands of panels. Compare that to say China where, yeah, it's a little bit harder to get some information on them. Number seven is the packaging. Do you want the eye goggles? Do you want the remote? Do you want the app? Do you want the branded panel? Do you want the hooks? Do you want the manual? If you get it from a local Western company, you're gonna get all this stuff. China, you may have to ask, you may have to check, and you may find that some of those things aren't included as standard. You may have to pay extra for them. Number eight is the local power cord. See, a lot of the Western companies ship with a cord that fits your socket, which is quite handy china typically you just get an american plug but that's not always the case so be sure to ask number nine and this is a big one it is future proofing you see if you bought a platinum led biomax a few years ago and then you got their newer generation panel you could still link them all up you could control them through the app and it worked really really nice they also look the same same design so if you're building a big modular setup it all worked great if you're just buying one panel from china and then a few years later you want to buy another one you may find that you can't get the same panel and they look different and they don't all work together obviously a dedicated red light therapy company wants to give their customers and wants to make sure that things all work well so just something to keep in the back of your mind number 10 is all the bells and whistles and more advanced features again this is something that the middleman the, the western companies they are going above and beyond they're spending the money they're doing the research they're coming up with the inbuilt smart smart modes they're building the app they're doing all those extra stuff typically the chinese factory aren't doing that so if you want those bells and whistles probably better off buying from a local company and then number 11 is more advanced products and this is kind of ties into what i was just saying pretty much it boils down to this if you want to get something really good convenient local currencies faster shipping time good support yeah spend a few extra dollars maybe it's a few hundred dollars but in the scheme of things it's probably money well spent however if you're on a super tight budget and if you're happy to put some time in and happy to take that risk and happy to wait 
and happy to get something that doesn't have all those bells and whistles and you may have to do some research on your own, then yeah, reach out to a company on Alibaba and go through that route. Just make sure you do plenty of research, you ask them questions and you know exactly what you're gonna get before you buy. And if you wanna know what I think the best red light therapy panel is in 2024, then check out this video. I compare 17 different panels, including one from Alibaba, including the Cyanlotic Chinese company and a bunch of other awesome panels. Check it out all up here.